Hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm GB. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys not only how to spruce up and make your snowblower look pretty, but I'm also gonna show you how to protect it as well from all the elements in the winter, all right? Maybe, just maybe, by doing all this, you actually improve some of the throwing distance as well. So we'll talk more about that later. Let's get down to business. So ladies and gentlemen, what I wanted to show you here uh, this is my Aaron snowblower and this has the impeller kit on it for it's had it on it for about five years now And I want to show you something that I do every Single time or maybe every other time I use it in the winter time and what I do is I spray down everything inside of here with WD-40 and what that does is not only protects it a little bit, but it also uh, Helps lubricate everything as well. So that way it just keeps throwing snow out without much snow sticking to it so uh, it does help quite a bit, and as you can see, this is now a, almost a seven-year-old machine. There is minimal, minimal rust inside this thing. There's, there's very, very little, and even spots in the back where you maybe see a little bit of wear inside that tube, that is not even rusted. It's just clean metal. So I have a little bit down here at the bottom, very, very little. So I owe that all to spraying that down with WD-40 every single time I do this. So right before. Now if we take a look over here at this snowblower, you can see that there's quite a bit of rust inside and that's okay. You know, we can work around that. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat this very, very heavy with some protectants and some WD-40 and uh, that'll definitely extend the life of the inside of this snowblower. So this is probably the worst spot, but this is also the, the spot that endures the most friction and the most elements, I would say. Uh, as we look around the rest of the snowblower, you can see we got some dirt here that we'll clean out. We got some bird poop on there, we'll get rid of that. Um, but we'll clean all this metal up. We'll shine up the wheels, see what we can do about a little bit of the rust ring around those wheels too. So this whole thing is gonna look brand spanking new when we're done. Okay, so let's talk about everything we're gonna need to shine up uh, this snowblower here today. We got some latex gloves, we got some paper towels, we got an old crummy uh, microfiber towel that I've been actually looking for a reason to get rid of this thing, so I'm going to trash this thing completely today. We got some white lithium grease that's gonna be used to lubricate any metal to metal uh, spots that are gonna have some friction to them. Then we got our standby shine here, this is a automatic transmission fluid. This is what we're just gonna to use to kind of decorate everything. Really, no, it's not, it, not really gonna help with corrosion, but it will protect to a very slight amount. It's more so gonna be for just kind of shining stuff up. We do have uh, fluid film, which will be great for protecting the outside of the snowblower, so we're gonna use that quite a bit. And then we're gonna use our good old friend WD-40. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will protect everything mostly on the inside. So we're going to be using all this stuff. And uh, if anybody follows Henry over at Mowers and Blowers, he's a funny, funny guy. He's like, man, you could drink this stuff. So like, he's a huge fan of WD-40. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are our tools of the trade today. That's what we'll be using. So one of the first things I'm going to be lubricating here, as there are no, as I'm looking at this, there are no grease points here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be spraying down these bushings here with the white lithium grease. That'll kind of seep in there. It'll lubricate everything as best as possible. So I'm just gonna hit it real good. It kind of looks white. And then as I turn it on and run it, all that stuff will just kind of sink in and do its job. So I'll do a little bit of that. So that'll be our first step right there. Then our next step we have any rust spots that are in here, and I'm gonna to try to zoom in on some of these. Any rust spots that we have, like somewhere down in the back, I'm gonna take this fluid film and we're gonna coat all that. We're gonna spray it down pretty liberally. We're gonna hit it good. This stuff does a pretty good job of protecting any metal. Seals things up pretty well. So that's pretty good for that. Then again, any rust spots, we're gonna hit those there, down at the bottom here. There 
There we go. That's looking really good. That'll sink in, really protect all that stuff real well. That's looking great. Now there is a little bit of fine rust on all these uh, augers and that's okay, but we are just gonna douse all this with WD-40 now. I'm gonna start at the top, let it kind of run down. Get the augers. Both sides. And this will make it last. I mean, it really will. It makes it hold up so much better. Snow doesn't stick to it as easy. Spray the gearbox down. Spray all this down in the back. Come over to this side. Do the center. Top to bottom. Starting to drip, and I just pretty much uh, hose it down to that point where it's starting to drip. I don't keep soaking and soaking and soaking, because then you're just wasting stuff, you're making a mess, and that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna hit this side right here. That's good, now it's all soaking wet. That'll kind of just absorb into any rust spots and that'll take care of itself. That'll do, ladies and gentlemen. Now the next spot I like to do is inside the chute. So not only the chute itself, but down into the hole. So I'm gonna just kind of get in there and just kind of hose that real good. Let that kind of run around. All right, get around the seam where it spins. And then I'll start from the top and just kind of coat it like that. Now this is a plastic chute, so not much snow sticks to this in the first place, but you do have these little nuts and bolts here. We'll lubricate all that. All right, we even have these little cables here that pull and open up the chute more. So we're gonna hit all that, and that's okay if it drips because we're gonna keep wiping the stuff up in a little bit. All right, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch up any little rusty spots with the fluid film on the outside. Around the outside, around the outside, there we go. So I'm gonna do that around the outside, just touch anything up, and then I'm gonna spread it around with the rag. So I'm just gonna kinda hit these spots first, this will protect this very nicely. All right, and then we'll get in here, do these edges, these seams. We'll get up here. Starting to run a little low and that's all right. And use it for a good cause. And then again, I'm gonna do our seam all here. That'll protect that very well. So I'll just kind of spray out whatever's remaining here onto the sides and I'll kind of spread this all around with a rag. Same thing over here. Any remaining little bit, there we go. That'll protect it. If I run out, I'll spread WD-40 all over it. All right, so now we're gonna start spreading this around, wiping this down, just kind of lightly buffing it in it's going to get rid of any dirt on this thing and you can already see look at the shine on this puppy wow does that look better or what Much, much better. You can see the difference where I've hit it. That looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle these wheels here. Now these aren't too, too bad, but we're just gonna give them a quick shot and then wipe those clean. Now, there is some rust on them, that's okay. They still hold air very well, they do their job. But we're gonna get rid of any rust, corrosion on there and pretty these bad boys up. There we go, looking good.
Some spots come out, some spots don't. It is what it is. Pretty this all up. There we go. Sometimes that absorbs in, sometimes it doesn't, and it stays shiny like that. So I always like doing that just because it looks great. And then while we're over here, we're also gonna hit our chute. We're gonna shine that up. We're gonna shine all this up too. Just get all up in all these crevices. This thing probably hasn't been cleaned like this in quite some time. So to do this once in a while is actually a really good thing because less garbage is getting into any spots in your snowblower affecting belts and things like that and causing other issues. So it's a very easy thing to do to help maintain your equipment. This wheel's a bit dirtier than the other one was. It looks better. Shine up the tires. You might say, well, why are you gonna do this? Well, I'm actually selling this snowblower and I want it to look good. You don't go onto a car lot and you see dirty cars for sale. So they're always keeping them clean. You know, same thing with this. Nobody wants to buy something that's dirty and beat up. You want to make it look nice. I wouldn't buy something that's covered in dirt and grease and grime. So I'm just going to coat everything real quick, shine it all up. Again with the WD-40. Kind of just wiping stuff down. Make it look pretty. So now I'm doing the handlebars. And one thing that I do like to do, since this has a lot of cables, cables can sometimes build up some friction if they get water inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this little rubber top off. And what I'm gonna do here is just shoot down a little bit of WD-40. And it doesn't take much, just takes a little squirt like that. That kind of works itself into the cables that way. There are other ones, but I can't really get at them. Good old craftsman. But any ones that I can get to like that, I'll do anything like this right here. I will lubricate as well. Just because everything spins better, it moves better. It'll help itself out in the long run. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the handlebar assembly. Now this is plastic, that's okay, but we're gonna make it look nice. You can use WD-40 for this, or you can use the uh, automatic transmission fluid. Since I already have tons of WD-40 on the rag, I'm just going to kind of wipe it all down, shine it up, and make it look good. Another thing that I like to do is get just kind of all in here and then also spray down into there as well. If it drips, it drips, so what? At least this way, any metal parts are protected, prevent some rust, make this all just last a bit longer. You spend a lot of money on these machines. I mean, this was a $1,000 machine at one point, you know, maybe five, 10 years ago. So this is an expensive tool. You want it to last. So doing this every now and again 
makes it last that much longer. Plus it makes it look good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the chute and I'm just gonna use the same crummy rag. I'm not getting crazy with this, but we're just gonna dump a little bit of automatic transmission fluid on it. Kind of rub it into the rag a little bit. And just we're gonna start wiping. Nice thing about this is it kind of gets into all those little cracks and grooves. I mean, look at that already. Night and day difference. The only problem with this is now <laughs> you just can't bump into it or else you get grease all over you. That's the one thing you gotta be careful of. So now we'll go to this side. You can see this side is a bit dirtier. But once we do a little of that, she is clean. Nice thing about using a rag like this, like an old microfiber rag, is it gets into all the little grooves nicely. It does its job. We go. Another thing I like to do is I'll take the WD-40 and I'll shoot it right up in where all the gears are for this. That way it just rotates and pivots nicely up there. And it does its job. Then I'll do this metal beam. Get this all protected up. So our next stop is gonna be the engine. Now I get careful with this. I don't get too, too crazy. Uh, I usually either use just a little bit of WD-40 just to kind of protect things. Uh, if you hit any things on the heater box or things that get warm, that'll just burn off. So you don't wanna lay it on thick, but I think just a quick coating will make it look nice. So what I'm gonna do is just take my rag, a little bit of WD-40. You could use uh, automatic transmission fluid too, that's fine. But I'm just gonna kind of quickly hit this without getting too crazy. This will actually help protect and hopefully avoid some rust in the future. And there we go. Any of these like primer bulbs, you could hit this too. So I'll kind of move this back. You can kind of see. We're gonna get into all these little spots just real quick, shine them up. Just like that. 